Hello guys, in this video we will see Linux script command with examples. Linux script command is used to make TypeScript or record all the terminal activities. After executing the script command, it starts recording everything printed on the screen including inputs and the outputs until we type exit command on the terminal. When we run script command without a log file name, it attempts to write to default file that is TypeScript in the current working directory. It is useful for to record the activities for the auditing purpose and it is also useful for students who need a hard copy record of the interactive session as proof of an assignment. Syntax is script then hyphen hyphen timing then timing file name then log file name let's see the examples before that go to the manual and verify the script command definition syntax and the options man script see definition is script makes a type script of everything displayed on your terminal it is useful for students who need a hard copy record of the interactive session as proof of assignment. If the argument file is given, script saves the dialog in the in that file. If no file is given, dialog is saved in TypeScript. And the options are one append C command. Append means it appends data to existing file. C means we have to provide single command hyphen e written hyphen f flush force quit hyphen t these are the options once we type exit then session record will be stopped let's see the examples first example start screen recording by typing script then log file name log data dot log it's also fine but as real time practice you have to append the file name with date underscore dollar then not only dollar not only underscore just give the dollar also just i am giving dollar then date then space then plus symbol then percentile d percentile m and percentile y and percentile hour then provide the file extension i am giving log see script started and file name is log data okay then type the command log then ls then cal then post name then more etc then check the version of your os etc os hyphen release see we have entered few commands now type the exit to save the file and stop the scripting stop the recording press enter see once we type exit we have received script done and file name is this one let's verify the contents of the script file more first output of the screen is script started and we have typed date command then ls command then calendar command then host name then we try to find the version by using more etc os release after that script we type the exit so script done at this at this time okay so in this example we have seen how to record the terminal session activities by using script command next come next example is we are going to append the data to existing log file script just use the hyphen a option to append the terminal session activities with the existing file this is the existing file press enter see in the existing file 
these are the last lines present that see script started and file name is this one with the siphon a option it won't override it will append from the last line of the existing data now run host name ctl siphon af and search for some processes See, these are the processes running. Now type the exit. See, script done and file name is this one. Let's verify the contents of this file. More than file name. See, in previous file, data is there up to this line. Up to this line. Now we have appended this data to that file. Now we have added this data to the existing log file. Now next command is, if you want to record the single command, output just on the command, script hyphen c, then we have to provide the hyphen c, then we have to provide the command, date, then hyphen a. Hyphen a, what it will do, as discussed in the previous example, it will append the this script session recording to the existing file without overriding. Press enter. See, script started and script ended because it's a single command. Let's see the log file more. See, at the last it printed today date and script completed. Just type script then file name. Here file name I am giving log data underscore dollar date then space then percentile d percentile m and percentile year and percentile hour then dot log. This is just for time we are update we are appending the file name. See, notice here, script started and file is this one, log data and file name. Or simply, you can give script the file without any date also. But as a real time, it is best practice to use the date. Now run the commands. Date, ls, man, script. Then press Q to quit. Now type exit and press enter. See, notice here, script done and file is this one. Let's verify the contents of this script file. In this file, all the activities logged from the terminal session. More than file name. First, we have checked manual of script command. Then we have run the ls. Then we have run the more than date. Then ls. Then we run exit. So in this video we have seen how to record terminal session activities by using script command in Linux. For more Linux videos please subscribe my channel. Thank you.